Hi, my name is Nico, and in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the Twin Template. The Twin Template showcases different ways to create simple and advanced animations within Lens Studio using the built-in Twin Script. Adding animations to your lens is a great way to make it more immersive, playful, and engaging. The template comes with three major elements, the simple twin examples which showcase simple animations on simple twins, the advanced twin examples which demonstrate how you can use multiple twins together to create complex motions, and the UI twin examples that demonstrate how to apply animation to UI elements. By default, the twin template has simple twins turned on. There are five cubes with different moods that demonstrate a different twin animation. Feel free to go to their twin script and mess around with the parameters. We can see how the twin script is animating the object when we select one of the simple examples. For example, let's take a look at the twin object under the move example. Over here we can change the end value to something else and we'll see our cube is moving to another position from ground. We can also change the easing function to something else, and we'll notice how our cube's movement changes drastically based on the kind of easing we apply. Let's also take a look at the twin value example. Right now, we're setting the offset Y parameter on the assigned graph material to apply texture offset to the material. We can try to change another parameter of the same material. We'll first get the name of the parameter we want to change. You can access parameters of a material by hovering over a property's name on the material. In this case, it can be UV scale. Let's change the UV scale with our twin value script. Now, instead of getting a scrolling effect, our striped pattern is scaling up and down. Now, let's take a look at advanced twins to see how we can use multiple twins together. To check out the advanced twin, Toggle the Advanced Twin object, then hit Refresh. Each of the Advanced Twin examples have its object under a container object under a series of parents. Each of these parents have a few twin scripts applied to them. For example, the Vertical Move object contains a Rise and Fall twin, which are both just twin transforms on the vertical axis. Under the parent setup, there are several chain scripts that set up chains of motions from a combination of all the twin parents. The vertical move twins are chained on the vertical move chain, and twin will play in the order provided on the chain. Explore these options to see different styles of twin animations, and try to change some parameters of any of these twins as you did before to alter the animation on the screen. You may also change the order on any of the twin chains, and observe how different the animation can become. We'll add up the amount of time of each individual twins and make sure they're all the same on each twin chain. This is very important for multiple twin chains to work together, otherwise they will go out of sync with each other. For example, in the bounce example, all the twins on the horizontal twin chain add up to 4 seconds. Then all the twins on the vertical twin chain also add up to 4 seconds, and so do rotation, scale, and the color chain. And the twin chain sync helper at the bottom takes all these twin chains and their time length, then manually plays and syncs them every 4 seconds. Twin is also very useful for creating satisfying UI animations. Let's explore some UI twins. Under the orthographic camera, there are a few UI twin examples. The game screen example enables a few buttons on the screen if you press the play button. Then you can click on the menu icon to hover in and out of a menu item. Feel free to check out the behavior and twin scripts attached to these objects to see which action is controlling which animation. For example, your button would look way more lively if it animates a little bit when tapped. The easing layout example showcases a series of twins with different easing options. Try clicking on these examples to explore different properties of twin. Using the twin template isn't the only way to add twin scripts to your project. To add twin scripts to a new project, just start an empty project, go to plus, helper scripts, twin manager. Then a folder will appear in resources and all the twin scripts can be found in the folder. We can apply any of them to our scene objects and start twinning. 
That's it for this tutorial. Happy creating with the twin template.